Hello, ladies and gentlemen, especially our prospective international students all over the world. My name is James Lin. I'm a professor from Wenzhou Ursula University of Languages. Today, I'm so privileged to give you the introduction of Wenzhou. So Wenzhou, as you can see, uh, we are, uh, it's a Catholic university, and it is also the first the, and the only university of languages and foreign studies in Taiwan. Okay, first of all, I would like to let you know the outline of our, my introductory today. The introduction, the first of all, we would like to give you a brief intro introduction about Wenzhou, and the second, why you choose Wenzhou. And third one is the English talk programs. So that means if you cannot speak uh, Chinese or your Chinese uh, language proficiency is not good enough, don't worry about it. We still offer English talk programs. And also we offer scholarships for outstanding students. And the last part is the overseas student services. Okay, so first of all, let me introduce you a very brief introduction of Wenzhou. Wenzhou was founded in 1966 by um, the, the Ursuline sisters of Roman Union. And the, in the very beginning of Wenzhou, it was a junior college. And at that time, it only recruited female students. And 15 years later, okay, so Wenzhou uh, recruited male students. So now we have a lot of diplomats in the Ministry of, of the Foreign Affairs in Taiwan. And until, and, then, and then start from uh, 2013, Wenzhou was upgraded from college to university. So Wenzhou is a Catholic university, so we have a one, we have focused on the quality of education. So from now on, we can, as you can see, Wenzhou uh, ranked the first place in the global view and foreign language capacities. And also we got the first prize of uh, the first place in the universities with the highest employment satisfaction. And also we rank first one in the universities specializing in humanities and social sciences. And then we are talking about the Wenzhou, the, 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 the education Wenzhou. Because Wenzhou is a Catholic university. So we inspired, uh, students were inspired by Wenzhou Ursula spirit. Okay, so you have got an atmosphere in when that kind of is in, in most atmosphere in Wenzhou. So what kind of characteristics of Wenzhouian? What's the picture of Wenzhouian? As you can see, we hope uh, we wish our students to have a passion for life, readiness to communicate because they are learn different languages. So you are learning languages not only speaking, you have to know how to communicate with each other, and also the leadership by service in the Christian spirit. And next, uh, we're talking about the quality of education in Wenzhou, the feature of teaching in Wenzhou. So first of all, you, see, you can see all language courses are conducted in their target languages. So if you major in English, so all the courses in English department are taught in English, or you major in Japanese or, or German, Spanish, so the courses are taught in the target languages. So that's why we have up to 30% of the courses are taught in foreign languages. And then we are not only teach you languages, but also we teach you the cross-cultural um, program. Okay, we, we offer this kind of programs. Okay, and also we have a variety of less widely used language courses such as Italian, Indonesian, Korean, or Yiddish, Russian, Vietnamese, Thai, Malay, and so on and so forth. And also we have um, a very good equipment and facilities at, on the campus. So each department has its own learning resource center. So you can use it. You can use the sources there for free. And then we have a wireless campus and each classroom is equipped with satellite TV and other facilities. And also we have a multimedia information podium for students and for, for the teachers uh, to use um, their PPT or other materials. Okay, and also Wenzhou is a very internationalized has a very internationalized campus. So uh, we commit to build collaborative relations with overseas universities or institutions. For example, we have over 270 partner universities all over the world. And they are in 40 countries in Asia, America, Europe, Oceania, and Africa. And also the programs, we provide various programs such as a student exchange program or faculty exchange program and the student internship program so you can do the internship overseas. 
And then we have some sort of a research and teaching co collaborations with our partner universities all over the world. And uh, where is Wenzhou? I'm talking about the location of Wenzhou. Wenzhou is located in the center of Kaohsiung City. So that means it's very convenient for you. You can go anywhere by the public transportation. And the campus of the city information. So you can see uh, uh, Wenzhou is located in the heart of the Kaohsiung City. As you can see the photo on your left hand side, this is the, one of the oldest buildings of Wenzhou. And the other picture, it's the MRT, it's what, what we call the Mass Rapid Transit System, just like the underground system, okay? And then this is the Wenzhou campus. This is the, one of our tallest buildings in Wenzhou. So this is the administrative building, and this part is the classrooms. And then we can see, we, if you like sports, we have gym at Wenzhou, uh, with very, uh, you can use it with very reasonable uh, prices. Okay, so you can see this is the badminton court or the volleyball court. If you like to play uh, badminton, basketball, uh, or volleyball, you can go there and play. And then we have uh, like a, some sort of uh, facilities. So we have fitness center. So you can go there and to do the workout, to do the exercise by yourself. And then we have a dormitory here, on-campus dormitory. So we always put the first priority. I mean, we always put the international student in the first priority to live in the dormitory. So if you want to live in a dormitory, four people in a room, and the four people are from different countries. So if you're interested in living in a dormitory, you just apply for it, and you will be guaranteed to live in a dormitory with a very reasonable price. And then this is the library. So if you go to the library, you can uh, find uh, lots of different books uh, with different languages. And then this is the uh, atmosphere of the library. So we have a self-study section. So you can go there to study for the exam, for the quizzes, okay? And that's the library. And Kaohsiung is located in the Harbor City. So if you like to, um, if you want to go to the seaside or you want to go to the harbor side, okay, it's very easy to reach, to access to, to the sea or to the harbor. And then, oh, we are not, we, we not only have um, underground, but also we have the tram, okay, so you can do the sightseeing, you can just uh, go around the city, okay, so you will, get, uh, you, you, will, uh, you will find a lot of interesting places. Okay, so you, you because Wenzhou is located in the center of the city, so it's very easy to go shopping. So if you like shopping, you don't have to worry about it. We have a lot of shopping centers, we have a lot of big department stores, okay, so they are waiting for you if you like go shopping. And then we're talking about, we're going back to the subjects that you can choose. So we have four colleges and we have 13 uh, departments at Wenzhou. So what are they? So if you are looking for a BA degree, okay. If you're looking for a BA degree, okay, we have uh, 13 different majors for you to choose, okay? So you can see, if you like to study English, whether you are interested in English literature, um, English linguistics or uh, culture, English Chinese translation, English education or teaching English as a second languages. Okay, so that would be um, English taught courses. So if you are Chinese is not good enough and you are interested in English uh, culture, okay, so maybe you can choose uh, English as your major. And other, we, we see other uh, parts of the, the, the majors like French, German, Spanish and Japanese. Okay, so the, all the languages are taught in the target languages. And besides, uh, we have applied Chinese. So if your Chinese level is above B2, okay, I would say no be good choice for you because you will study with Taiwanese students and you will sharpen your uh, Chinese language, language um, uh, your Chinese language ability will be, become better and better. And then we have foreign language instruction. So if you want to be an English teacher and you don't know how to teach English, okay, so in this department or in this major, you will learn how to do um, the uh, classroom management or you will, you will know how to, uh, the, the, the teaching methods, okay, so you will become a very good English teacher. And then if you want to, if you, if you are interested in uh, translation or interpreting, this subject, the major translation and interpreting would be uh, very suitable for you, but you, are, you have to be, you can speak very good English and Chinese. 
So you, if you learn a, once you learn a technique of the translation, you can apply to your own native language. So if your native language is German, okay, so you can trans, learn how to translate uh, German to uh, English and English to German. And then we have international affairs. This is also English taught course. Okay, uh, international affairs. If you are interested in politics or economics or some sort of um, international situation, okay, yeah, this is a good subject for you. And then the international business administration. If you are interested in Asia business, this is the major for you. And the digital content application and management. It is AI related courses. So if you are interested in AI course or you are you are, you are keen on the um, like the digital thing or like how to if you want to learn how to design the, the app in the mobile phones or want to know how to do the 3D animation yeah this is a, a, a course for you okay and then the other one is the communication arts so if you want to if you are interested in in mass media uh, or in media studies okay you will learn the uh, uh, like filming editing, how to be a reporter, how to be a news anchor, and then you will know how to be a radio DJ, okay, so you will learn a lot from that. And then the Southeast Asian Studies, so if, if you're interested in the Southeast Asian the countries there, so you will learn the situation there, you will learn the politics and econ economics there, okay, so these are the majors that you can choose, just one of the majors, the others can be your minors. So also we offer MA program, Master of Arts. Okay, so we have translation and interpreting, uh, English, that's the English taught course, and international business and administration, that's the MBA. And then we have international affairs, also inter uh, English taught course, and teaching Chinese as a second language, and European studies and Southeast Asian studies. So they are for the master degree, okay? And then take this one as an example. This is the, the program is offered by Department of International Affairs. So this is a master program. So everything is taught in English. And then students have to present their own result of research in public. So as a picture you can see. And then uh, in this uh, department, they have very active international exchange programs such as dual degree and uh, international volunteering internship international conferences, international experimental uh, learning, things like that. And then, things uh, like the dual degree or uh, they have sort of a partner, uh, collaborative relations with the partner universities, such as in UK, University of Essex, or the University of the West of England, and so on and so forth. Okay, maybe you will be curious, if you be interested in how much I, I, I've got to prepare for the tuition fees. Okay, I would say, if you want to uh, do the four-year college or the, or the master degree, okay, you you've got to prepare about around eight thousand seven hundred U.S. dollars per year. That's including uh, the tuition fees, the on-campus accommodations, your textbook, food and drinks, publisher transportation, and entertainment. Okay, so that's not that expensive and it's very reasonable to study in Taiwan, especially at Wenzhou Ursula University of Languages. And then maybe you are think you, you think you are very outstanding. You want to apply for the uh, scholarship. That's also welcome. Okay, so we offer each year we offer 50 full scholarships and 100 half scholarships. So the full scholarship mean that means all the tuition fees are waived. You only have to prepare or you only have to take care of other expenses. Okay, and then if you think you are not ready to study at Taiwan and you think you, you want to sharpen your uh, Chinese language proficiency, maybe you can, can be considering uh, doing our Chinese course. This is not a degree course, the Chinese language learning course. Okay, so we have uh, different levels of language courses and various cultural courses offered for you. And then if you can organize, if you want to organize a group like a six to eight or six to 10 students, you can organize a group to come to Taiwan and we have a customized short-term programs for you, okay? And then uh, if you want to teach in, uh, Chinese, if you are a Chinese uh, a language teacher now and you want to improve your teaching methods, you want to improve, uh, you want to learn how to do the classroom management. We also offer Mandarin teacher uh, training programs. 
And also, now we are in a COVID-19 pandemic, so maybe it's hard for you or you're worried about going abroad. Maybe, maybe you can take the distant learning. So we offer online courses. You can learn a Chinese language with a Chinese teacher, with a Taiwanese teacher at home. It's very easy to learn uh, Chinese, even though it's, the, it's during the uh, COVID-19 outbreak. Okay, so if you're interested in applying for Wenzhou, you are interested in learning at Wenzhou, maybe you can scan uh, the, the QR code here. You've got more information and also the application form there. Okay, so Wenzhou is, very, is a very interesting place and it's so very, it has a very internationalized campus. So I would say if you're interested in uh, to be equipped as a, a global citizen, and also you want to be more competitive in the market of employment, I would say Wenzhou is the best choice for you because Wenzhou is your key to the world. I hope to see you in Wenzhou, in Taiwan, in the near future. My name is James Lin. Bye-bye. See you soon.